So this is called ADCC, please do not forget this, ADCC. So that is one role of eosinophil and probably the major role. The protein which is the mediator, the chemical substance, the protein which is working in this is the uh, major basic protein. So we have talked about the ADCC, ADCC is used for the helminths and nematode infections for stranguloids and for trichinella. Then let us see what is the role of the eosinophils in the asthma. This is interesting that they have found out that the people who have asthma, normally their bronchial lining has gotten eosinophil cells in there. So they actually, the, um, the specialists actually use the eosinophil count as an indicator of the intensity of the asthma. So what is the, what is the effect there, what is happening there? So it is thought, so this is a hypothesis, it is thought that asthma is caused because of the allergic reactions done by mast cell in the basophils. We talked about that in our last lectures, if you did not hear it, please go back to the last lecture and hear it, that is the basophil and the mast cell causing the allergic reaction. When that reaction occurs, remember we talked about it that the basophil and the mast cell are going to release leukotriene B4. That was a slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis which appears from 2 hours to 6 hours later and they also release eotaxin, eotaxin which is actually immediate part of the reaction. They both are chemotactic factors for eosinophil. So that means if I am having an allergic reaction most commonly in my lungs, why because I am breathing and the pollens are going in or some such substance is going in with the air. The mass cells in the basophils are coming here and they are doing the allergic reaction. As part of their allergic reaction, they are releasing eotaxin and leukotriene B4. That is causing, that is calling eosinophil in this area as well. So what you would see in such patients lining is that they will be filled with the eosinophils. Why are eosinophils there? Hopefully mast cell and basophil called eosinophil to release what? Remember they are supposed to release, they are supposed to release histaminases to neutralize the histamine and aryl sulfate to neutralize the SRSA4s or A's, prostaglandines and leukotriene B4 and leukotriene C4 and D4, lipid mediators, right? This function, these substances are coming from the eosinophil. So hopefully the mast cell called the eosinophil to say, come help us. But unfortunately, this eosinophil, which is happy to serve, has two, three damaging things. It has major basic protein, which is known to cause damage to lung epithelium. Then it has peroxidases and leukotrienes. Remember this leukotriene here? So it has its own leukotrienes. So instead of really helping the situation, it would dampen it a little bit, but instead of really helping it, it actually aggravates the situation. So that is why the people in who have asthma, eosinophils are present in their lungs as well and are sort of an indicator of the intensity of the asthma. So that's what we have talked about asthma. Finally, allergies. So we've talked about that before in the mast cell and basophil, eosinophil play an important role in allergies. Hopefully the idea is that they release histamines and aryl sulfates to reduce, they, they release histaminase, not histamine, to reduce the histamine and aryl sulfates to reduce the SRSA. What are SRSA? Slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis. What are these? Leukotrienes, leukotriene B4, C4, D4 and prostaglandines the lipid mediators. But these guys have gotten their own lipid mediators as well. So on one end they are trying to remove the lipid mediators, on the other end they are injecting the lipid mediators. So end result is not really very helpful. So that is what is the function of or what we know about the eosinophils. Thank you.